It's an old uh, Volvo Amazon shell to replace one that uh, well, I've got a Volvo Amazon that I raced and I had a bit of an accident at the end of last year so the roof got uh, reprofiled. So I wanted to rebuild it with a new shell before while well, I'm doing that I might as well start with a, a good base, a solid base. So I brought the shell and all the panels up here to get them stripped and we'll get them uh, welded, new panels in, and get them uh, electrophoretic healing coated. Um, so we've got a good base to work on. It went, it went to a paint shop, but when they started to strip it, they were saying, well, look, we're finding rust here and there, um, you know, that's going to take time. And I thought, well, we, we originally, uh, on other vehicles, I've actually had them blasted. But the problem with that is I've ended up years later with just dust, blasting dust coming out of every single little nook and cranny. Uh, I want to try this process to keep it cleaner. And it'll get in, I want to get the, um, the rust out in the box sections and get uh, some goods in the primer in there. I well, was just doing my homework, talking to people. I spoke to some Aston Martin restorers, and they said this is where they, I mean, everyone comes back to here basically. So, everyone I've spoken to it ends yeah. up coming back here. Um, and it's not like a, a magic wand. I think, you know, anything like this, any restoration, it takes hard work. So, there's, you can't take it somewhere, it comes back like new, it's going to have to go away, we'll have to work on it. Um, we'll have to work with the process, basically. You know, the processes can only do what it can do. And I think if you're open minded and realise that, you get good results. If you're starting with a really beautiful, like as new body shell, you're not going to put grubby old bits on. You know, you, you set the bar and you have to, you know, you work up to it.